afternoon. Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Gemma Skelding, who's a pupil at Falkirk High School and a British Sign Language user. Gemma. Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you very much for your kind invitation. My name is Gemma Skelding. I'm 12 years old and I'm profoundly deaf. As you can see, I use British Sign Language and Mary McDevitt will translate into English for you all. I'm especially happy to be here for Time for Reflection today because next week is Deaf Awareness Week and it will be running from the 15th to the 21st of May. Now my mum and dad are both deaf and I have an older sister who is also deaf with special needs. And at home, I grew up using sign language. And in fact, I thought everyone could speak sign language. And it wasn't until I went to Olive Bank Nursery that I met people who couldn't sign. But at the nursery, they used gesture, which was fine. I then went to Wallyford Primary School where half a day every week everyone learned some sign language and this was a really happy time for me. I was with my friends, I just felt like everyone else and we joked and we laughed a lot and we even had special sign names for each other. And when the time came we all moved on to Wallyford Primary School together. Now, it wasn't until I was in primary three that I noticed things change. My friends would all be talking with each other, but I felt left out. Now, it wasn't because I think they didn't like me. I think it was just because it was too difficult for them to try and communicate with me. I remember one girl in my class. She was having her birthday party. And all my friends were invited. However, I didn't get an invite. The girl's mum had said she wouldn't know what to do with a deaf girl in her house overnight. So by primary four, I was really unhappy and I was really very, very lonely. Now my mum and dad could see that it was really hard for me and they could see how sad I was. It had been completely different for them. They had both gone to a deaf school and had lots of friends. And that's when they decided I should go and live with my dad. That was 2014. And I moved to Windsor Park School and I met other deaf children. And when I got there, the teachers and the children could all sign. And I was really pleased to meet them. And that's where I met my best friend. I now go to Falkirk High School and they have full-time communication support workers there. And I really enjoy school now very much. We even did a project on the Scottish Parliament and we came here for a visit. Thank you for reflecting on my school experiences. <laughs> 